Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. What the heck are you going to do today? How are you going to take on the day and how are you going to celebrate this awesome Saturday? Good morning. Good morning. I am still on my first cup of coffee, which is now a cold cup of coffee. <laughs> Jump on. Tell me where you're listening from. Tell me approximately how long you've been attending our coffee chats. Susie Re Real, I was thinking about you this morning. You're going to hear about that when I, when I give an example this morning. Hello, Renee. Hi, Susan. How are you? Go ahead and drop a number one as you tell me where you're from if you're watching this live and drop a number two and tell me where you're from if you're catching the replay. I love to see where uh, this coffee chat is reaching. It's always intriguing to me to see the new friends jumping on here as well as longtime friends and everything in between. So, oh, Jordan, that is so sweet. It makes my heart so happy. So if you've been attending these coffee chats for any time at all, you have heard me say over and over the power of gratitude and what it plays in our life, right? Well, I also shared with you, I've been doing this so consistently, all of a sudden I noticed a shift in how I wake up in the morning. Instead of waking up in the morning with anxiety about all I have to do that day, feeling completely overwhelmed. And mind you, just because I stopped waking up like this doesn't mean my schedule all of a sudden became not overwhelming. That's not reality at all. It's how I shifted my mindset in the morning because my morning went from thinking about all the things I had to do today to waking up with gratitude on the tip of my tongue. Why? Because right next to my bed, I put a little journal where I write all the things I'm thankful for or several things I'm thankful for and I just keep writing it and writing it and writing it on the days I don't wake up very grateful. I get to read in the past and see some of the things that I had said to help inspire me to be reminded to fix my focus, right? Fix my focus and find my praise. And uh, we got to do that. We got to be intentional about fixing our focus and finding our praise. Well, guess what? This morning, I woke up with the word delight in on my mind as I was thinking about something I enjoyed so much yesterday with my children. So I'm like, delight in? What? I mean, that is such deep gratitude. That is just such strong enjoyment and pleasure in something. I actually looked up the word delight in and it says to be very happy because of something. It says to enjoy very much, to take great pleasure in something. I mean, that's taking gratitude to a whole nother level, don't you think? Hi, Mira, how are you? And as I say those words, I want you to do me a favor. I guarantee when I use the word delight in, and I say to you, what are some things recently you have taken delight in? I guarantee your senses get involved. You know, being grateful is something here but delighting in something moves from here to here. There's something that just comes alive. So I'll give you a little example. By the way, funny story. Don't know if any of you can relate. I sprayed a perfume on this morning that I haven't worn in a while, and I'll never forget. It was probably three or four years ago. When I would put this perfume on, I put it on morning, I put it on afternoon, and I put it on night because it just smelled so good and made me feel so happy. I took such delight in that smell, and now I'm like, what? I got to change my shirt for whatever reason. I'm just not into that scent any longer and it is driving me crazy. So I'm not delighting in the scent of my perfume this morning, which is funny because I once did, but that's, that's really squirreling. Don't know why or how we got there, but hi, Amanda. Good morning. Um, so I woke up this morning just having this overwhelming feeling of pleasure enjoyment and how my kids enjoyed this activity they participated in last night. So let me just, let me give you this example. So last night, um, my son, both my sons and a couple of our family friends, Tim and Ty, I dropped the kids off at Bayside, which is a local church here for like a teen night, a middle school, high school night. It was limited number of kids. They had to wear a face mask. There was like worship time. There was like speaker time. And then there was a lot of fun time in between free Chick-fil-A by the way, I fed them dinner before they left because I knew they'd be starving the minute they walked in. 
And I knew they'd need Chick-fil-A as like dinner number two. I don't know if any of you have boys and can, can, can relate with what I'm saying there, but I am telling you whether it's two breakfasts a day, two dinners a night, or both, these kids can eat. But I woke up just delighting in some of the conversation that we had. I delighted in watching them get ready to go last night. They got kind of dolled up for a bunch of dudes, you know? And I was delighting in that. They cared about what they looked like. They did their hair. They looked very handsome. The second thing I delighted in was I got a call 30 minutes after I dropped him off and my son Landon was like, mom, you gotta hurry and bring us our tennis shoes. We're, there's a three on three tournament. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. So I run around the house and get like three sets of tennis shoes, three sets of socks, and I'm racing back to Bayside to drop them off. And I delighted in that because I just love how much they love basketball. And it just made my heart so happy that I got to. So, you know, like yesterday was not a, a, a low key day. It was certainly super busy, but instead I was just delighting in my boys calling me, mom, can you bring me? Yes, I can. I delighted in the ability to have that flexibility in my schedule. I delighted in their enjoyment for the game. I delighted in the fact that they were spending almost six hours at church last night, hearing the word of God, worshiping among peers and having good, healthy fun. I was delighting in that. I delighted in the fact that my daughter and I got to have a girls' night watching chick flicks. By the way, her and I both passed out before the, the movie was even over. And the boys come in last night just as like a tornado. They were so they had so much fun telling me about how the night went. And I think I was half awake when I was listening. So I can't wait to hear the stories again. But I woke up this morning just feeling like I was delighting in that event last night and all the all the things that happened and that to me is so much more than gratitude i mean it is just a deep pleasure enjoyment of something my question to you is what have you delighted in lately what has really just moved you to almost tears like that's when i think of delighting that's how much of my emotions it moves me to tears that's how much i enjoy it i'll give you a few other examples just this week of how much i've delighted in something number one I have the unique opportunity to be connected to coach, mentor, uh, develop, work alongside, not even lead, sometimes be led by and sometimes be, be inspired by this incre incredible field that I work with. I mean, oh my gosh, we had an event this week with over 4,000 people in attendance online virtually, by the way, um, and to watch so many of them share what is working or how they're building their business with such confidence and with such clarity. I was just like this proud mama bear and I was delighting in that. I was delighting in my events team who makes everything go off seamlessly behind the scenes. Um, one of my right hand colleagues, Bailey Walsh, just in the content and the preparation of the segments. I mean, I was just delighting in that. And I'm telling you, this week did not come without significant challenges and a heavy workload. But you know what? Because I've worked so hard to put this practice of gratitude as a primary part of my day, I was delighting in so many of the things that were taking place. At the beginning of this week, I was super frustrated that I wasn't getting as much time with my kids. And then I was reminded how much special time they're getting with my family. I also was reminded of the five nights a week, five nights this week, four of them, I made a homemade dinner and we had dinner around the table together. I delight in those moments. It's not about the quantity, it's the quality that helps us delight in things you know, in such a deep way. You know, Susie Real, this morning I was thinking, I guarantee Susie delights in those grandbabies on a regular basis, just watching them run around and she just taking it in and she just delights in it. You guys, I remember when we first got um, quarantined as the pandemic was first, you know, starting to rear its ugly head. And I remember sitting out on this back patio just being so grateful for the sunshine and a space where I couldn't, you know, had good weather, warm weather, and I was delighting in those things. So what are you delighting in today? How, how are you taking that practice of gratitude to a whole nother level? And again, you guys, I'm, you know, I think you got to work, you got to develop the, um, you got to develop the skill of gratitude. But I'm telling you, the more you do, the more you're going to watch that transition 
into such a deeper state of gratitude. You're going to be able to delight in things and take things genuinely be so darn appreciative and thankful and grateful of the things that you're taking part of um, throughout the week. I mean, I literally delight in some of the text messages I get from my local colleagues that want to spend time together. That makes my heart so happy. I literally delight in um, watching my kids tease me and give me a hard time. I literally delight in watching them you know, when I say so-and-so setting today, so-and-so's clearing and so-and-so's doing the dishes, I delight in watching them help each other fulfill their roles. That makes my heart so happy. I delight in watching these dogs wrestle around my feet. It's hysterical. It's quite a hoot. I actually delighted in working out yesterday. I delighted in it and I don't necessarily love to work out. Don't tell anybody that, but it's something I'm really working hard to develop the discipline for. And yet I found myself delighting in it this week. I mean, come on, you guys, that's winning. That is really winning. So what are you delighting in today? Jack, yes, The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale is super good. I wouldn't recommend The Secret, very different, but The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, I'm a big fan of. Um, so yeah. I don't think there's any better way to kick off a weekend than to really sit and ponder on all the beauty in our life. And I don't just mean like flowers and sunshine. I mean the beauty, the, the things that we can deeply um, just enjoy, deeply enjoy. Like the dictionary said, what we can, you know, being very happy because of something, to enjoy something very much, to take great pleasure in. That's, that is delighting in something. So yeah, be on the lookout. And if you're feeling like I'm just not there, then I want you to fix your focus and find your praise. What do I mean by fix your focus? Write down three to five things you are grateful for first thing when you pop out of bed in the morning. And if you're, if you're wise about it, you'll have like a little journal or a journal next to your bed. So right when you wake up, you got it. You can start writing. The days you don't feel it, you can turn back the, a few pages and see some things you were grateful for in the past. And I'm telling you, the more you practice the principle of gratitude, fixing your focus, finding your praise, before you know it, you're going to be delighting in so many things and just joy is going to be overflowing from you. And that, my friend, joy is not based on circumstances. It is based on an internal state of being. And that is something you develop over time. It's not something that you just like, well, I'm just not a very grateful person. So-and-so was born with the grateful, you know, fiber in their being. No, that's not how it goes. I promise you, this is something you can develop. So I am curious to read back because I haven't got to see very many. What are you delighting in this morning? What have you been delighting in this last week? What are you delighting in right now? Sometimes it's just the nice, warm, tasty cup of coffee. I mean, I have delighted in my oat milk lattes. I mean, come on now. That's, that's taking this, you know, gratitude perspective to a whole nother level. So good morning, Danielle Morishita. Are you ready for those kids to come back to school? Um, ready or not, I'm sure. But yes, y'all have a great day. Remember, tomorrow's our Sabbath. It's Sunday. So we will not be coming here live together, but we'll be back together Monday morning for our regular morning coffee chats. And remember, you don't even have to love coffee to join us. You just got to want to catch up and have a positive mindset, a great outlook on life. And yeah, just a real positive way to start your day. And uh, I know I'll be missing you after our Sabbath. So I'll look forward to connecting with you on Monday. All right. Have a good day, everybody.